Nearly 100 severe lung illnesses linked to vaping are under investigation tonight in 14 states. The CDC is looking into dozens of cases where e-cigarette users inhaled some kind of vapors. Anna Werner spoke with a Florida teenager who blames vaping for a different type of lung injury. Chance Amarada never thought he'd wind up in the emergency room with a collapsed lung. I just freaked out and they said, your lung has collapsed. You have to go to surgery right now. The 18-year-old posted Instagram videos showing his chest before and after the surgery to repair what turned out to be a hole in his lung. His surgeon told CBS News Amarada's lungs were inflamed, which could have been caused by something he'd been inhaling. But now, you've never been a smoker, a traditional smoker. Never, yeah. What have you been using? A uh, jewel. Jewel. Yeah, cigarettes are just obsolete. Amarada believes his year and a half long jewel habit caused his lung injury. Doctors told CBS News it's possible vaping may have contributed to it. But health authorities are now investigating other kinds of severe lung illness associated with vaping. 94 possible cases in 14 states. It's not clear which product or substance the individuals used. You first started hearing about these cases how long ago? Oh, all within the last month. Dr. Emily Chapman is chief medical officer at Children's Minnesota Hospitals. So essentially you're seeing a pattern. A pattern that's different from what we've seen before, yes. On the chest x-ray, the whole thing looks abnormal equally throughout the entire lung. A normal lung in cross-section view looks like this. Now look at the cross-section view of a patient in Hawaii whose doctor says he has the same type of acute lung injury. Dr. Chapman says it can be critical. You're basically saying that over a week's time, their lungs are failing. They go from healthy uh, adolescents to really uh, in a life-threatening situation. Jewel declined to comment on Amarada's case, but says it's monitoring the ongoing investigation into the other lung injury cases. The American Vaping Association is taking the position that it's not nicotine, but illegal drugs or THC, an ingredient in marijuana that likely caused those injuries. But Nora, nobody really knows for sure. Is the lung damage permanent? They don't know. They say there could be permanent lung damage. They're not sure yet. Scary. Anna Werner, thank you so much.